This afternoon was pretty nice all around the southeast, including right here in the Wiregrass. High temperatures thanks to a sunny sky, upper 60s to lower 70s. A few spots in the mid 70s. Andalusia and Crestview making it to 75 degrees. A little bit cooler on the Georgia side of the river, but over the next few days, warmer temperatures are in the forecast. The sunny sky that we have now is not really going anywhere over the next couple of days. 67 degrees is the current temperature at the airport. Winds are finally starting to relax, and because of that, we no longer have the elevated fire danger in the panhandles uh, counties for us. The humidity levels will begin to increase, so this red flag warning has been allowed to expire going into the evening hours. Higher humidity levels will be expected over the next few days. That northeasterly breeze will continue to relax as we do head into the later evening hours and through the day tomorrow. Not as strong, and actually at the end of the week, we'll have a southerly component to the wind, so that humidity will return. Those humidity levels. The dew point temperatures will all be on the increase along with our temperatures. Lower 70s expected for tomorrow afternoon. Going into Friday, even a little bit warmer Saturday, many locations could make it into the lower 80s for our afternoon high temperatures. And then on Sunday and Monday, as our next storm system approaches, temperatures will start to cool off a bit. Lower 70s for Sunday, and then the 60s expected for Monday with scattered rain throughout the day. The rain chances on Sunday will move in in the later part of the afternoon and into the evening. High pressure in control of the weather in the northeast. That's helping that air to funnel into our direction along with an area of low pressure off the Florida coast, kind of funneling in over us. That's why those winds today were on the stronger side. But as the pressure gradient relaxes, as that high pressure builds in, we'll be looking at calmer conditions over the next few days. For tonight, that clear sky will help temperatures to cool off pretty quickly. And still, with that dry air in place, that's another reason why those temperatures will be dropping off. Pretty quickly, we'll be in the 40s as we do head into the overnight hours, lower 40s then as you're heading out the door tomorrow morning. And then that sunshine temperatures will warm up pretty nicely into the upper 60s to lower 70s for most locations, and then even warmer over the next several days. Some cloud cover could return as we go into the later part of the work weekend into the weekend. But for tonight, closer to home, that sky is going to stay nice and clear all across the region. Already in the 40s, mid 40s by 2 o'clock in the morning, lower 40s heading out the door. But with that sunshine tomorrow, it is going to be a beautiful afternoon with a light breeze still out of the northeast, just not as strong as it has been for tonight. Here we are, lower 40s across the area here in the Wiregrass. Definitely a cold night, well below average for us. And then going through the day tomorrow with a nice sunny sky, those temperatures will be warming up pretty nicely. Lower 70s for most locations. There's a chance that some of us could just reach the upper 60s. But all in all, neighborhood by neighborhood, looking pretty good with those highs in the lower 70s. And then over the next seven days, looking pretty good. 76 degrees for Friday, Saturday. We'll have a little bit more in the way of cloud cover, stronger flow from the south, so those temperatures will be a little bit stickier in the upper 70s, high humidity levels, and then some showers and storms will build in in the later part of the day on Sunday. We'll last on and off through at least the first half of Monday with some drier air rolling into the region and then drying out for Tuesday and Wednesday, upper 60s for Tuesday, 70s are going to be returning for next Wednesday with a mostly sunny sky. So it's really just Sunday and Monday that we'll have to get past.